Welcome to my lava kingdom. I am the king of this kingdom and it is considered the best in the area. I have the best living conditions for my villagers. No, JJ. My water kingdom is much nicer to live in. The villagers in my kingdom are always grateful for the pleasant temperature and for the fact that they can always quench their thirst. Today we will find out whose kingdom is cooler. Mine, made of lava and fire. Or Mikey's, made of water. I am sure that Mikey has no chance compared to my cool kingdom. No way, JJ. I won't let you talk so badly about my kingdom. Today I'm going to prove to everyone that my kingdom is better. Another beautiful day in my lava kingdom where I am the king. My villagers are always grateful to me for what I do for them. We have a lot of cool houses and buildings, and we also invest our money in defense. We have some super cool secret developments that will allow us to repel an attack of any enemy. Like Mikey's neighboring water kingdom, for example. This building here is a base where some secret weapons are stored. They might have to be used today if Mikey decides to do something stupid. I still hope Mikey isn't stupid enough to attack. I'll call him and find out what he's up to today. Hey, Mikey, come out quickly. We have something to talk about. What do you want to talk about, JJ? About how my kingdom is bad and yours is cool. No way, JJ. Huh? I'm tired of this humiliation. Now I'll create a water golem and it will show you whose kingdom is the coolest. Do you really think water can somehow overcome lava? Yep. Mikey, have you forgotten how we went into the mine and you turned to stone? Well, if you're not going to stop, then I'll create a lava golem too. <laughs> and we'll fight with them. And you'll see what happens when you combine lava and water. Come on, water golem. Quickly attack the JJs. Oh no, he managed to build a lava golem before you attacked him. Stupid golem. See, Mikey, I told you something Ouch. bad would happen. If you try to attack me Ouch. again, you might accidentally turn into stone yourself. So be careful. I warned you. Huh? Don't come into my territory again. This Mikey isn't going to calm down at all. He clearly doesn't agree to stop attacking each other. Well, I'll wait until night and make my move while he's sleeping. I have something that will make him give in. So, the night has come, and it's time to act. Remember I told you about the secret weapons room at the beginning? It's time to take something from there, and it's going to be really hot, because I'm going to teach Mikey a lesson using the main elements of my kingdom, fire and lava. First, I need a shovel and a little effort. I'll dig a small hole here, and when Mikey tries to attack me again in the morning, he'll come out and fall into this trap and burn in the lava. Oh no, it seems he's not sleeping yet. We need to finish quickly and hide. Hey, what's that noise? Villagers, it's curfew. You can't go outside at this time, otherwise you might get killed by the guards. It's you, JJ. Stand still oh. I'll call security. Oh no, what kind of trap is this? Is this your doing, JJ? I'll get back at you for this next day. Huh? You will pay for it. Great, it worked. Maybe not the way I planned, but... Good morning, Lava Kingdom. So what do I see, Mikey, who is trying to somehow harm my <laughs> kingdom? And what is it, Mikey? You know that in order for the trap to work, you need to hide it so I can't see it? And even so, I don't care about your trap. I just take a little damage while in it. It's like a tickle or a mosquito bite for me. Don't pretend, JJ. I know you're in pain and you're about to run out of hearts. I'm sure you're about half a heart and you're about to die. Think what you want, Mikey. I don't care. The main thing you need to remember is that the Lava Kingdom is the best. And you clearly shouldn't come here again. Otherwise, you will suffer a very painful punishment. So, while Mikey is off to his village, probably planning on coming up with a new plan, I'm finally going to use the main weapon from my secret stash. There's something here that's sure to teach Mikey a lesson. Come on, I'll show you. So, this is a flamethrower. Some lava blocks, flamethrower charges, and most importantly, blaze spawn eggs. I will use the flamethrower to set Mikey's kingdom on fire, and by scattering the eggs around the area, I will trigger their spawn they will heat up from the flamethrower fire and fill Mikey's kingdom. I want to see how it handles the influx of this Blaze army. I'll start building somewhere around here so that the security at the main entrance won't notice me. Otherwise, the whole plan won't go according to plan. I'm already close to the wall of Mikey's kingdom. The main thing is not to touch the water too much. Otherwise, it will hurt and I can get a lot of damage. So, it's flamethrower time. Here you go, water kingdom. Time to make this place a little hotter. 
I'll douse everything here with fire and then scatter Blaze's summoning eggs so that they continue what they started and finally boil this kingdom. Perhaps this will provoke an escape of the villagers and I will be able to lure them to my kingdom where I will teach them to resist the influence of fire and lava. A little more fire wouldn't hurt. For me, of course, for the Water Kingdom, this fire will be very painful. My flamethrower is almost out of charge. I'll have to recharge it. I hope the summoning eggs haven't activated yet because that would be dangerous for me too. The main thing is that the blazes don't attack me. Oh no, it seems they decided that I am one of the villagers of this kingdom and are attacking me. Urgently, I need to run. Where did all this come from? Ouch! It's hot, very hot. Quickly, someone put me out. Security, villagers, anyone. Looks like Mikey is on fire and already feeling the warmth of my work. Yeah, Mikey, get a little roasted. You deserve it. Ouch! It's so hot. Oh, water. Yes, water. It feels so good in the water. Hey, JJ, stop it quick before I set my security on you. You're not going to like this. Yeah, great. Once again, I taught Mikey a lesson and showed him who's boss. My kingdom hasn't suffered a single percent yet. Time to rest a bit. It's nighttime again. I'm back in my secret weapons warehouse. This time, my scientists have invented a jetpack and bred a new type of enemy mob. It's a fire beetle. It attacks enemies with fire, and I plan to throw these beetles right into his bed. With the jetpack, I have gained the ability to fly. I no longer need to build such pillars above the fence. I can fly right onto the roof of Mikey's main castle. He is probably sleeping soundly now, and I can wake him up with the help of these fire beetles. First, I need to somehow move a couple of blocks on Mikey's roof. For this, I have pistons. I just need to find the right angle to install them. Otherwise, the piston will be in the wrong direction, and I won't be able to implement my plan. I missed a little bit, and I need to move the block a little further. It seems that this block will be needed, and it is located right above the bed where Mikey is currently sleeping. Mikey's kingdom is so poor that he spread out his bed right under his throne. Now, I need to place a dispenser. When the dispenser is activated, it will use the block that is in it, if it is possible. And in my case, it is. The dispenser will use a spawn egg and will spawn a firebug right above Mikey's bed. This will be a great stealth attack for Mikey from my kingdom. I'm gonna spawn a lot of these bugs so Mikey can have some fun tonight. It seems to have worked. Oh no, what the hell is this? I'm really scared of spiders. And these are some kind of fire spiders. I need to wake up right now. Mikey, wake up quickly. Mikey seems to think that this is a nightmare. But no, Mikey, yeah! this is the real reality. And you will have to continue living like this until you stop denying that the Lava Kingdom is better than yours. Wait, is this not a dream? Why do I feel like I'm wet after I put out the fire? Are these real firebugs? But where are they from? Where are you, Mikey? I don't see you. How do you like this alarm clock? The bug alarm clock. <laughs> oh, there you go again, JJ. You'll definitely pay for this. I promise you. Here's some more firebugs for you, Mikey. Enjoy! Whew, great. This is even better than I planned. I'll finally go to bed. It's been a long day. JJ, that's it. I can't do this anymore. I'm hmm. building a wall now, so you can't make fun of me. Right. It will be high, and there's no way you can enter my kingdom. There will be spikes everywhere, and you won't be able to get past them without running into them. Oh. Let's see how strong my wall will be. Hmm. Mikey? I won't lag behind you either, so I'll build myself a wall too. I've been meaning to make it so you can't get to me for a long time too. It won't just be a wall, it will be made entirely of lasers. If you touch one of these lasers, you'll die right away. I'll call it a wall of killer lasers. It seems like a pretty cool name for a wall like mine. And yours is just a regular water wall, nothing cool at all. Those spikes you want to put around are also very trivial, while mine is all very cool. Let's see whose wall is cooler. Hmm, I don't like your wall that you are building at all. It reminds me of a laser cutter for sausages. It doesn't sound very cool, and your wall looks exactly the same. My wall is much cooler. There is no way to get around it. It is made entirely of water blocks, and there will be spikes everywhere, hmm. which I will put in soon. JJ, you haven't even built the wall yet. I am 
almost done. You are so slow. Ho-ho! <laughs> Speed does not mean quality. The slower I build, the better quality my wall will be, and it will withstand anything. And you build your wall very quickly, and that's why it is not as good as mine. All this is checked in the bay anyway, and we will see who is really cooler, me or you. <laughs> you cannot even try to say that my wall is bad, because I know that it is very strong and high quality, which means that I can be confident in this wall and count on its quality. <laughs> You're lying. It's not true. My wall is still much cooler than yours. I've already finished it. You're still hanging out with yours. I've already destroyed you ten times while you were building it. You won't be able to defeat my kingdom because it's much stronger than yours. From my wall. Your kingdom is so clearly visible. I might even be able to see what you're doing there. Everyone just does their own thing and won't call each other names. I still have a little bit of work left to finish so that my wall is completely finished and it will be really cool. <laughs> it's just taking a long time to build. And so I'll have to spend a little more time to finish it. And your wall isn't that strong. Look. I'll just walk into your kingdom now, and you won't be able to do anything. You see, you even forgot to close the gate. I can easily break out to you. <laughs> I didn't just build the wall what? as you might think. I had a mega cool plan uh -oh. to get to you through the roof. Now try to find me if you can. You won't even know where I am exactly. I need to get up and figure out where Mikey is right now. I think it's probably earlier than I could have imagined. Where could he be? He seems to have left some wet footprints. I think I can find him by them. I just need to follow them and then I'll get to that place. Everything here is completely in water. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone and everything will be fine. What was he doing here? Did he find my room? My workroom is right here, along with the secret items. It's good that he didn't steal my sword. Where could he be? And that he stole all my diamond blocks that I had? I need to find and arrest him right away. If I catch him, I'll kill him. Ho <laughs> oh, Mikey, I found you. Ouch. Did you think you could escape from me? Ouch! Okay, I'll give you your diamonds now. Just don't kill me. No need to chase me. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this nasty turtle wanted to steal my diamond blocks, but he failed because I was able to find him and catch up, and I also destroyed him. I hope he will now be afraid to come to my kingdom and act so foolishly. He needed to come up with a much better plan to be able to steal my diamond blocks. Now, he will definitely not be able to get in here because I will be on guard. He will not be able to do this again. Is he so stupid that he thought he could get in here like this unnoticed and escape? This will not happen. Because I am the king here. I know better how my kingdom is arranged. Hmm. I will watch him on camera so that he can't do anything like that again. I need to be attentive and not miss such moments and then everything will be fine. Therefore, I need to work hard now so that there are no more such problems. <laughs> he won't have a chance to do that anymore. Because of what JJ found out, I died and therefore revived again in my kingdom. So now I will prepare a plan on the spot. I think to attack his kingdom very soon with water. Well, how to do it? It seems I had a hint for this in my chest. I have a lot of water in the whole kingdom and I don't even know what to do with it. So in the chest, I collected a lot of empty balloons. With them and water, I can make water balloons and start throwing them right at his kingdom and he will not like it very much. If I do this, now, I will go around all the fountains and try to collect as much water as possible so that I can fill them with water. <laughs> A little more, and I will get the most real, dangerous projectiles against the Lava Kingdom. I think they pose a threat, and therefore, it will be fun to scatter them all over the kingdom of JJ. Let's see how much he will be scared of this. It seems that I finally managed to collect a lot of water balloons, and now I can begin my special operation. I will go out to my safe yard and scatter them wherever I see. I think he does not expect such a turn of events, and therefore will be in complete shock. It would be interesting to see the reaction that JJ is experiencing now. You don't see something like this every day. <laughs> What's going on here? Why is he throwing these water balloons? I need to act now to stop this. Where can I leave it like this? Now I'm going to get out of here and sort out what happened. 
I'm very angry with him. He can't do this to me. I'm just going to take and dilute all his kingdoms. I have a secret missile that I've been saving for just such a case. Now I'm going to press this button and his entire kingdom will be destroyed. Ho <laughs> ho! Let's see if he likes that. This missile weighs 100 tons and there are a lot of different lava chemical elements in it. Now we'll see what happens if we blow up this missile. I've wanted to test it for a long time, but only now has the time come. From second to second, we will see what will happen if this rocket is dropped on the Water Kingdom. Now, something absolutely incredible will happen. <laughs> My prank was a success. Now I can go back and be happy that I made such a joke on him. What is that strange sound? What exploded? It seems I can't see anything yet. What is it? Is there really a huge hole here? Who did it? Did JJ really do it? It seems it's better not to joke with him if he has such a terrible weapon. Now I'll go out and see what happened there. JJ, I give up. Let's not fight anymore. I changed my mind. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't think we need it. Hmm. Okay, Mikey. Then peace and no more fighting with you. Bye, everyone. See you soon. See you in the next episodes. Ho-ho! <laughs>